but I would bet one of those two picks being a wide receiver. Shut up and sit down. Are they going to do it? Because, I mean, like, if you the little bit of research that I'm able to do with my non-ESPN team sitting right next to me, it's twice since you've been covering the draft, Mel, that we've taken a wide receiver in the first round. Once in 88, that's Sterling Sharp, and 02 with Javon Walker. I tried to do all sorts of stupid math. Is it going to happen? I think it will. I think it has to happen. Uh, you know, with yeah. the receiving core that they have, with the strength of this draft being wide receiver, having two picks, not just the one at 22, again, again at 28. Uh, I know the second round has brought them Greg Jennings and Devontae Adams and Jordy Nelson. And there, I think there's some really good options, like an Alec Pierce, who I comp to Jordy Nelson. I comp Sky Moore to Greg Jennings, both out of Western Michigan. So I think second round has been a hot round for them. They've done a great job. But to get the receivers that I'm talking about, in terms of the first round, you got to you got to use one of those picks if you want one of the elite guys. Now, if they feel like, hey, to <clears throat> be Sky Moore is as good as some of the guys going in the first, if not better, or Alec Pierce is as good. Alec Pierce ran a four four and vertical forty inches. He averaged over seventeen yards a catch in his career. He's got an athletic family. He's a heck of a player. So, however their board shapes up, they could attack it either first round or second round. But I would bet one of those two picks being a wide receiver. Shut up and sit down.